Hello everyone, Brad here today and welcome back to Project Hospital. So as you can see there's been a few changes. So we've got this lovely little outside garden I popped in just, just to break it up a little bit and I thought that'd be quite a nice centerpiece around that. Oh, what's this? Citizens of Gold Valley panic as hospitals are overrun with people exhibiting sexual infections. Stay tuned to hear from public health expert Dr. Ronald Smith. It's not very good when your town has breaking news that sexual health infections are on the rise, is it? Anyway, what I've done between episodes is kind of outlined this department here. And it could have been for any specialised department, for the clinic. Um, but now that we've just heard that breaking news, I assume William Farron would literally be on the phone instantly. I'll just turn my phone off to concentrate on this. So let's get in the sexual health department. So what I've done is I outlined it so that let's find sexual health. There we go. So that we can have a little reception area that also has an elevator. I thought that was quite nice. You know, if you want to change between floors here, you can. It's a very quick way to get down here because our nearest elevator other than that one is this one here. So we have that one, this one, and then one over here. That could, that should be a really nice spread of elevators. Then I thought this would make a great room for the sexual health lab. It's in line with all the other labs. You can, we can have like a staff door there to quickly take out the rubbish and the lab waste. Um, all the icky old samples, stuff like that. So I thought that could be a, a quite a nice route for staff into the sexual health lab. I thought we could have a sexual health cleaning closet, just there. Just by the elevator, quickly pop out there. It's going to be a bit of a small entrance to get the car in there. We might have to make that a little bit bigger. Here, what I've done is I had a little area where we can have a little waiting room there, literally as small as possible, just a couple of chairs probably. And then here, what we'd actually have is the patients won't actually use it. So if we do something, yeah, they will leave it like that. But here, what we're going to have is like little changing areas. So if you needed to do, if you needed to change for anything, basically, if you need to change for anything, if you're doing anything in the sexual lab, or if you like taking a sample and you didn't want to go to the bathroom, I don't know why you wouldn't want to go to the bathroom, you could come to these little areas. So we'll sort that out in a second. This is going to be, oh, I'm going to do the same thing again here, aren't I? So that's the common room. And I'm going to try and get in the rest room there. Oh yeah, that's worked better this time. When I tried to do one in radiology, it did not want to work. And over here, we're going to have the actual sexual health doctor's offices. That's going to be the waiting room. And then I think this is just going to be a corridor here. I don't think it needs to be anything fancy. I think that just makes sense that that's just a corridor. So that's going to be our overall layout for sexual health. That's how the rooms are going to be laid out. Let's now think about doors and windows. So door for the lab. What colour do we want it to be? Could go like a nice orange. Quite like orange. Let's go orange. So for the lab, I mean, I was going to get a glass door, but this door probably makes a bit more sense because you probably wouldn't want to see. Well, I suppose it doesn't matter if the samples are uh, sexually orientated or if they're microbiology or tissue or blood, really, do they? Anyway, we're going to go with that door for the moment anyway. We'll get another door. Actually, what I'm going to do is actually get rid of that wall just there. I'm going to get rid of that wall. So that's a bit more open plan. Then we're going to get a restricted door for the staff room. Because obviously we do not want patients going in there. Same for the cleaning closet. Then we're going to need an actual door to the department. So let's get a nice big orange door in there. And then same again. We could go with those doors. That looks pretty cool. Some a bit different. Now I've completely whitewashed all of the walls. So... Let's go with the nice orange theme. What does that look like? That's quite nice. So let's do that in all of our kind of corridor spaces. A bit like this. Okay, lovely. And that one, and that one, and that one. Then we're going to need for the cleaning closet, maybe like, it's actually say bathroom wall. Oh no, exterior wall. Well, it says exterior, but I think that'd be quite nice for the cleaning closet, just there. 
Then for the actual doctor's offices, maybe half and half. What does that look like? Yeah, that will do. Um, I need to go to there. Do the same for that room, just there. Okay, I like that. Now we've got the bathroom. The bathroom can just have some simple tiles with the orange top. And then for the actual common room, we'll go for wood, the dark wood. And then for the lab, well, we want something quite lavish. so let's go again for like the tiles that we had in the cleaning closet. Then floor-wise, um, let's go with, for the common room, we'll go with the light wood. For the toilet, we'll go with small tiles. Cleaning closet, we'll go with like a peachy linoleum. For the doctor's offices, we could do the medium tiles maybe? Or would that suit the lab more? I'd probably suit the lab more. And then in here we get maybe the light lino flooring. What does that look like? Yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. And then we'll keep it maybe as those tiles for the kind of corridors and waiting room areas in these little clean um cleaning bits little changing bits rather we could have let's maybe get in like the darker lino just so it looks a little bit different so these we're gonna want if i go to the doctor's office so i can get those items we're gonna want a privacy screen um going that way and then you'd probably have just like a chair um, that's probably it oh you probably have a mirror actually wouldn't you where can I get the mirror if I go to the bathroom and I get in the mirror and in terms of um, like decoration I thought maybe clock just so you know what's happening and maybe like a plastic hamper you might get rid of your scrubs or you know you might I don't know you might get rid of something right wait tiny little waiting area oh my god there's new items water cooler how cool is that we'll get that in somewhere let's get that in the waiting room I love that's what I love about the mods is they're constantly adding new stuff it's so cool right let's get one like set of benches we'll get a let's get a small coffee table so this one's colourable, it'll get like the grey. Um, and then we'll just get something from on top of that maybe? I don't know what. Lamp or flower? I'm going to go with flower. Right, so let's do the lab. So this is the sexual health lab. So, what we're going to want is somewhere to put the laptops, PCs, whatever we get to like. Um, like a workstation really. How much are the half lab desks? 369 let's get that along with like a square table and then a square table could be for the printer so PC we'll get a small printer just thinking about money the stool or you'd probably want an office chair you probably wouldn't want a stool you probably want an office chair for the computer because you get a bad back otherwise then we'll have somewhere for waste then we're going to need a microscope and a few instruments. So maybe we'll go microscope up here. And obviously that will need the stool. Then we need sample storage. So that can go there. Um, lab analyzer can go there. Then we're going to need another desk. So let's pop that in there. Hmm, there? No. Let's pop that in there. And that's going to have hematology, RIA. Then we need another desk for thermal cycler and glassware. Then we need a lab sink, so that's better for that to be on the wall. Then maybe we'll go for like some equipment cabinets. We haven't got loads of money left, so we'll get something like that because that's fairly basic for the moment. Right, we do need a door for our bathroom in our common room. And then in there, we're just going to get toilet, sink, hand dryer. Really simple. Oh no, that needs to go there. 
Then common room, it's going to be very simple as well. So let's get sofa, um, table with a radio. Then we'll get a couple of cabinets, fridge, coffee machine. And that's probably going to be it for the moment. Uh, we're getting a water dispenser and a bookcase. So I just had a quick phone conversation with Professor William Farron and just let him know that we're doing this sexual health clinic and I just let him know that we're a bit low on money so he gave us a $20,000 grant which was very very kind of him, he didn't have to do that at all. So thank you Mr Farron. So we can get a few more bits now for our staff room. So maybe let's get a nice plant in there. Notice board makes sense. If we get that there, then they can actually walk up to that. If we want a clock to know what time it breaks over. Um, what else is here? Wardrobe. You might have a wardrobe actually. Yeah, you might have a wardrobe just to um, hang your scrubs and stuff like that. Um, so that's probably good enough. So that's our common room. Now our waiting room. So if we get out some benches and we'll go with red, I think, just so a little bit different. Let's get some there, 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 there. Then we're getting like a fancy chair, fancy chair, normal coffee table, and that can, we'll get a floor lamp for there. Get some magazines there on how to avoid sexual diseases, hopefully. Um, then we just need something f to go on top of that little table, get like a nice little lamp. We'd want a Wi-Fi router because um, you'd probably want that in a waiting room these days. Uh, most people will probably get a little bit leery if you don't have Wi-Fi. Okay, so that's our little waiting room. Reception. So let's get a very simple reception going. So if we go there with some desks. Actually, get rid of that one. Um, and then that one. And then we're going to want that. No, no, get rid of that one. Pop that one there. Then we'll probably get one more in through there. I assume that still works. Oh, I don't know. I'm not going to risk it. Right, so then we want a PC. And for that we'd want an office chair. So let's get like these little small card files. Um, we'd probably want a printer back here. But if I, I need a table for that. So if I go there, no, if I go into there, that will definitely have a square table. So get that out in the corner. And hopefully we can get one of the large printers go on top of that. Uh, then we'll get like another card file and then maybe some cabinets. Okay, lovely. We'll probably get a fire extinguisher out. You probably have a fire extinguisher there. Um, escape route. Then we'll just get a few bits for um, decorations. Where's files? Let's get that there. And then you'd probably definitely have some posters. And obviously, there's no sexual health posters yet. That'd be awesome. Moom and Little Socks, who made the mod, have you got any idea if you could bring posters online in the future? Please comment down below, Moom, and if you can, um, if you can add posters, that'd be awesome. So let's get out some more plants. Let's get a little plant in there as well. Okay, so that's our little reception. We'll just get maybe a couple of chairs. Um, down there. I don't know why you'd come and sit in the reception, but if you want to, then you can. Okay, so this is showing up to be. I'm actually really happy with this. Right, so the actual doctor's offices. We're going to want an exam table that's hopefully not near a window or a door. So let's get that there. And we'll get this one in there. We might move that window just so you have a little bit of privacy. Get a dressing screen in front of that one. Um, Thing have like oh no yeah have a little dressing screen there just to block the view of that and we can also get like a privacy screen in there I'll get one in there I hope that means they can still get up and down on the bed 
Let's get some bins, we'll go yellow in that one. And we're gonna want some disinfectant dispensers. Get one out in the waiting room as well. We need a desk. So let's get out some desks. Let's get that one there by the window. And we'll get that one in there. We're gonna want a chair for the patient to sit down and tell us all of their sexual history. Cause that's not awkward at all, is it? Office chair. Then we want computers. Computer says no. That one can have a paper holder. And that one can have a printer. Equipment cabinets. Let's get a couple of those in. Because we're going to need CRP scan. Um, is that it? I think that's it. Get out a few more decorative items. Like a bookcase. Oh, where's the whiteboard? Where is the whiteboard? If I go down to one of these whiteboards, here we go. Let's just get a whiteboard out there. Okay, I'm really happy with that. I think that looks really, really cool. Um, we'll do some more posters in a second. So this is going to be a very simple cleaning closet, a couple of shelves, a couple of um, bucket carts, and a couple of sinks with a plastic camper. We can get in a plant. Oh, that's not going to work. Let's get one of the sinks out and we'll get in the plant there. Right, so we're just going to have to go around putting random posters that have got nothing to do with sexual health. Well, some of them might have something to do with sexual health, but most of them probably would not. Do I get posted out in the waiting room? No. So just going to get out a load of the posters. Okay, how does that look? Oh, look at that. Isn't that lovely? Okay, we're going to want the sign for the sexual health department down here. Have we got that? That's oncology, sexual health. Now, see, we don't have orange, so if we go blue, just so they know that that is the sexual health. And then in here, we're going to want room numbers. So let's make that number one, and we'll do these in black, maybe. And that's going to be two. Then we're going to want doctor's office, which we can't get for there, but we can get there. Um, then we'd probably have a sign saying that room there is a staff room. Um, we want one for the lab, which we probably don't have. What's that? Stat lab. Well, that will do. Let's get stat lab sign for there. Okay, awesome. I'm very, very happy with that. I was going to get in a restroom because it makes sense that it would have a restroom. Um, but I've just thought maybe what we could do, if we go into this bathroom, get rid of that, we could always get a door in there. So you can actually enter that bathroom from there. Now, is it worth getting a door there? I don't think so. I don't think I will. I think I'll leave that door. Okay, so that is our sexual health department, guys. Let's do the very, very important job of now staffing it. So in the lab, let's go with, if we can see your hidden perks, please. Uh, you're good, but you are an alcoholic, so you're going to show up late and hangover. It's going to be you, isn't it? Because you're depressed, unfortunately. Um, people, person, but alcoholic. Okay, Daniel White, you are in. Receptionist, again, let's see the perks. You're unpleasant. That's not very good. So let's go with Jordan Wright. He's the best there. Best man for the job. Um, janitors. Let's go with you, Susan. I mean, you're going to be late into work, but you're pretty good. Um, you are a hedonist. So you're constantly eating. It kind of sounds like me. You're pretty good, actually, Jennifer. So let's get two janitors. One in the day, one in the night. All right, doctors. Casey, you're pretty good. So you could probably be our chief doctor. And then we're good to get one more in. You're not bad. I mean, you're late in and you're night out. So do we get... Yeah, let's get in John. John, you are in. Okay, so there we go. The sexual health department, guys, is up and running. Hopefully we can get some of these... Um, patients in the affected areas here in Gold Valley treated very, very quickly. 
Who's this? Lisa White. Hello, Lisa. How are you doing today? Um, so I'm not sure what you have. Well, let's do all of the microbiological tests, I think, would be good for you. Because you might have giardiasis. I oh, know you can't have any of those. You can't have appendicitis and you can't have that. So you've got lactose intolerance, love. Let's not spend all of that money giving you all of those um, tests. So we probably won't see many patients coming into here today. Um, but what I'll do is I'll fast forward until we see our first patient and we'll try and get them out the door as fast as possible. Ah, I completely forgot to change the name of the doctor. So Casey Lee, you're going to be Moomin Little Socks. And you can go and look at all those lovely genitals and hopefully treat as many patients as possible. That did not take very long at all. We have, oh, are you coming out to get him? Yeah, so I need a key machine. And that waiting room is for the lab. Right, let's get rid of that. We're getting rid. And hopefully they just won't sit there waiting to go into the doctor's office. So we need the key machine. So if we get that in there, We'll get out a couple of the TV screens like that. Perfect. Right. We've got Michael Young. Michael, come into the office and tell me all of your sexual preferences and sexual history. So you're now going to go and sit there. Are you going to go in? Okay. Okay, you're going to a different doctor. Right. So you might have chlamydia. You might have gonorrhea. You might have genital herpes. We're going to do a genital swab, I think, on Mr. Michael here. Um, yeah, you've got painful urination. Oh, God, that's not good, is it? Um, so that does that gets done in the hematology lab for PCR, but we might have to do the urine sample analysis because I don't think that's going to give us much of an indication. So let's do the urine and the PCR, um, and we'll try and see what's wrong with Michael. Over here, we've got Margaret Adams, she's got trico trichomoniasis. So it's sexually transmitted infection caused by a tiny parasite called Trichomonas vaginalis. Oh god, that sounds horrible. Okay, All right, Margaret, you have some antibiotics. Oh god, it, gen oh, general discharge. Margaret. Silly Margaret. Okay, where's that? Oh, he's just gone to swab his, um, his private parts. So hopefully that will give us a bit of an indication to what is going on with Michael Young. We've done an objective, which I assume was to treat our first patient in our specialised department. So he's going to go to the stat lab, and I think he's going to go and um, give him his genital swab, and hopefully they will give some kind of indication to what's wrong with Michael, which hopefully is nothing too bad. Where's Michael gone? Oh, he's in the waiting room. Okay, so I assume he's just waiting. So we've basically narrowed it down to four things. So now... Is that going to give us an indication to what's wrong with Michael? Michael, what's wrong with you? So I'm not sure, are we? Okay, well, let's go to David Lopez. He's got Mycoplasma genitalium. Well, that's not good. That's actually transmitted bacterium. Okay, oh, he's got testicular pain. That's not good. You just need some an um, analgesics, David, and hopefully that will make you all better. So we're still not sure what's wrong with Michael, are we? And it could be either of these. Because they're all like 25%-ish. What's the treatment? Antibiotics, 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 antibiotics. So, Michael, you're going to have some antibiotics. It doesn't really matter um, what you have. Let's just go for that, gonorrhea. It doesn't matter. All of them require antibiotics, so you should be fine. Okay, so who's this chap here? David Lopez. Oh, okay, so he's going to go in for his analgesics. Oh, he needs antibiotics now as well, which makes sense um, because it's an infection, isn't it? So we have to treat the infection at the end of the day. Okay, guys, so we made a start today to try and treat this epidemic within Gold Valley of sexual health infections. So we, what we're we seeing, we've seen chlamydia, we've seen a possible gonorrhea, we've seen a mycoplasma genitalium, so it's obviously quite endemic to the area. They should all just stop sleeping around, really, shouldn't they? And it might actually start to um, see a reduction. Anyway, 
I really hope you enjoyed the episode, guys. Please tune in next time for the next episode, and I hope you have an awesome day. See you later. Thank you very much for watching the video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel down below if you haven't done so already. And please feel free to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Have a great day. See you later.